Hey folks, it's Carrie from Pretty Neat. Thanks for joining me. So today I want to address a question that I get a lot as a professional organizer, and that is, where do I start? I hear from a lot of folks, and maybe this rings true for you. Maybe it's been a long time since you've done a big declutter in your home and things have piled up and you're just feeling overwhelmed. And the idea of getting started brings up some anxiety. So that's what I want to address today. How do you get over that initial anxiousness about starting to get organized and just get into it? So one thing that I think is important to keep in mind is that there really isn't a magical answer to this question, where to start. You can start anywhere. And the most important thing is that you do get started and not so much where or how you start. Really just jumping in and getting going is the most important thing. But there are a few tips that I can give you about getting started that may help to get you motivated. So the first is to think about starting in the place that annoys you the most. Maybe there's an area in your home, maybe it's the entryway, or maybe it's your kitchen. It's a space that you have to use all the time. It's really important that it's functional, and right now it's a cluttered mess. If that's the case for you, starting there will be really satisfying because you will immediately start to feel the benefits of getting organized. If you can just declutter that one space that you use every day and it's constantly driving you crazy, once that is under control, you will start to feel better. Your life is gonna be a little bit easier as you navigate through your home and that is really the goal here. My next tip is to try starting in the space that's going to be the easiest for you to tackle. So maybe there is a closet or a drawer or just a small area in your home and you know there's a bunch of stuff in there that needs to go. You know that you're not really attached to any of it. It's not sentimental. It's maybe been sitting there for a while and you've just been like, I need to get rid of all of that. I just haven't taken the time to do that that area is probably going to be pretty easy for you to power through, to declutter. Um, it's not going to bring up a lot of emotional stuff for you. And so starting there will give you a quick, easy win at the beginning, and you'll see the benefits quickly, and you'll feel better. And that may be just the motivation that you need to get you to tackle the more difficult things. It's always a good idea to start with easy things at the beginning when you're decluttering because you do get better at it with time and with practice. So if you can start with some easy stuff, things that you're not sentimental about, things you're not really attached to, that will help you kind of build up those skills of making decisions. And then you can apply that to the more difficult areas, maybe the things that are more sentimental. My next tip is to start with the place that's the most difficult. And this might seem a little bit counterintuitive, but maybe you have a really big space that you know needs to be decluttered. I see this a lot with the people who reach out to me for help. Maybe your basement has been just being filled with stuff over the course of many years. Maybe it's your garage or the attic. Maybe you have just a really big project ahead of you and you've been putting it off because you feel overwhelmed by it. If that's the case, my tip for you is to just start. Here's the thing, getting started there, even if you only spend 15 minutes, 30 minutes there, just that little bit of time can really help to change your mindset because you will go from thinking, oh God, I really need to clean out the basement to I am cleaning out the basement now. You will be starting the project. And what most people find when they do start is that it's not nearly as bad as they were imagining. And if you have a space like that where things have been being just kind of shoved aside for many years, there's probably a lot of things there that are not that meaningful to you, and it will be much easier to get rid of them than you think it will. And really, it's just a matter of getting down there, getting started, even if it's for a short period of time. 
one thing to keep in mind if you have a big area that needs to be organized is that you have probably spent a long period of time letting it get to the state that it's in right now. Maybe it's been years that that stuff has been piling up. Don't think that you are going to clear it all out in one day or even one weekend. Be realistic about the time frame. And I recommend setting aside time in your calendar and treating that appointment like you would any other appointment, whether it was going to the doctor or meeting a friend for lunch. Block out time in your calendar and recognize that you are probably gonna to have to revisit this space over the course of maybe weeks, maybe months, depending on how big an area it is, because you really can't spend more than a few hours at a time, or at least I can't spend more than a few hours at a time doing this type of work. It can be physically exhausting, it can be emotionally exhausting. So recognize from the start that those big areas of your home are going to take time. Set aside that time in your calendar, set some recurring appointments with yourself to work on it. And when your time is up, stop and then give yourself a break. Maybe do something nice for yourself for putting in the time and then you can come back to it another day and continue working on it. So just to summarize, if you are having trouble getting started organizing your home, you can start with a space that's very annoying to you that you have to use every day. You could start with the things that are gonna be really easy for you to power through, or you can get started on that big project that you know is gonna be tough, but you just need to spend a little bit of time getting going on it. Be kind to yourself through this process. It is difficult. That's why people call me for help. Set aside manageable chunks of time for you to work on this project and recognize that it's probably gonna take a bit of time, especially if you've been letting things pile up for a while and know that you're gonna come back to it on a regular basis. So I hope those tips were helpful. If they were, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be sharing lots more information here about decluttering your home and making it look great. Talk to you soon.